have uh, every week one or two patients with new onset of type 1 diabetes. We want to get to a day when we will be able to offer these children a cure and not just uh, the management of diabetes. I have been here for 30 years and I have taken care of children with diabetes all that time. I have also done research in diabetes and have worked with a lot of children in research trying to affect the lives and improve the daily care of these children, not only here in Iowa, but in the whole country or maybe the world. So type 1 diabetes has been a very interesting problem to try and address, uh, both clinically and from a research standpoint. I think a lot of the children that we see with diabetes often struggle just day to day with managing type 1 diabetes. And with the struggles that they have, it has kind of led us to develop some of the research tools that we've been involved with. My husband has had type 1 since he was 21, and my son was diagnosed as a baby, and my daughter was actually diagnosed through one of the studies that we do when she was 12. It is a very personal thing for me in addition to being professional. There isn't a day that goes by that in clinic people don't ask me, what's going on in research? They are so interested and our, our team is so dedicated to learning more and finding a cure. So at the University of Iowa, we were lucky enough to be chosen as one of the centers to participate in the JDRF Artificial Pancreas Project. And as a lot of people know, this was a, I think an instrumental and pivotal study that really helped us to look at the role of continuous glucose monitoring and basically ways to make taking care of type 1 diabetes easier for children and for their families. He was pretty much asymptomatic and upon going over to our pediatrician he did some random normal baseline tests and found that he had some ketones and, and I just knew immediately what that meant and he said well he thinks it might be juvenile diabetes, but that's okay because he'll grow out of it, is what his dad told me. And I just started bawling <laughs> immediately because I, I knew, like, you know, working in the field, I know, I know what it means and I know it's permanent. Diabetes was just a new thing for our family. We're, I think we're a very fun, happy family. If we were able to find a cure for type 1, that would be life-changing. It would mean that my family would be able to just have a normal life and not have to worry about their diabetes every moment of every day. It also would be life-changing for so many of our patients, for all the people that we see. I just can't even imagine, you know, how proud that I would be to be able to tell families that. It would bring tears to my eyes.